<gasps> hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. The light, the light, the light. I barely have any light. So when I was on a, a stylist on a photo shoot, we'd go in location and we would get up and they'd crack at dawn and we would be there at five o'clock in the morning, 5.30 in the morning for the sunrise. And then we would come back towards the end of the day, right about now, for the sunset. And this is called golden hour. This, my dear, is golden hour, isn't it? beautiful the light is just beautiful the light is right on you it's perfect it's like sexy big bold gorgeous lighting that makes anything you do no matter how you show up look that much more fabulous now it's gonna end really fast so when you start seeing this light and you start getting pokey you're gonna miss it don't say it until you so so here's what I want to let you know Lighting counts when you're doing headshots, when you're doing photos, when you're doing videos. Lighting super duper counts. Now, if you don't know me and you're coming in right now, I'm Sharon Haver and I help other super smart, talented, brainiac entrepreneurs with tons of expertise who realize that is not enough to stand out in a crowded market and you really need a little bit of that personal branding zhuzh to step into your star power. So when I, before I became an entrepreneur, actually in a way I was always an entrepreneur, but a different kind. I was a stylist on photo shoots in New York City for 15 years and I really learned the importance of lighting. Now right now as you're watching this video you're going to see it's getting a little darker on me and it's not going to look so good. Hollows of my eyes are going to come out soon. You're going to start to see more wrinkles around my neck. My teeth are going to kind of look weird and it's going to start looking dull. Not anything with this miserable wind because I can't help the wind right now but just about the light. So it's actually the perfect time because as we're doing this in a few minutes you're going to see how the light kind of just deprecates so when you're doing your photos and your videos light matters it really does matter if you want to grab something wherever you are and the light sucks like I did a video on the plane coming down here and the light was terrible on the plane really just awful but it was fine it was alive it was a throwaway it was totally fine nothing to be vain about but if it's something that you really want to have in people's social media feeds coming down and really grab their attention you need to make sure that your light is on point that the center is on you if you notice I'm moving a little bit because I'm kind of following the light right here one of the um, things is when you're working at home or you're working in a studio I highly invest I highly recommend that if you're going to be doing a lot of videos and you don't have the beauty of a big window with a lot of natural light coming in which I know a lot of my friends in California have is these big beautiful glass windows and they just plop themselves in front of it at the right time of the day and everything's hunky-dory but in New York with all the buildings sometimes that's not so easy you really need to invest in some personal lights you don't have to go crazy it might just simply be like a ring light in front of you or two side lights you can get professional lighting there's really cheap ones on Amazon but you can also maybe use the light you have in your home just place it in a different way so it's more flattering for you and um, it works it really does make makes a whole difference the right light is kind of like a facelift you know it makes you look younger and happier and more sprightly and beautiful but you don't have to have the surgery the knife or the scars kind of a win-win right so you really need to also be able to understand where the light is so you don't let me show you a trick like I can go like this but I can't see you I probably just got tons of wrinkles under my eyes because I am directly in the sunlight it is not attractive right but if I go like that look how dark the circles are under my eyes you see that because I'm in a bad spot right now but if I simply move myself like this it's a little bit better now granted I should have done this 10 minutes ago but right now you're gonna just see how easy it is to have the light move so it's something you need to keep in mind when you're doing your photos when you're doing your videos when you're doing your headshots and again if you want to know how to do that I'm here for you. Just go over to AuthenticSuperstar.com. I'll teach you everything you need to know to get started on getting your lights set up so you look beautiful. And um, it makes you more confident when you look good, right? Because you know when you feel lousy, you're not standing tall. But when you think you look good, hey. It looks better, right? It looks totally better. So anyway, hope this helps you guys. If you think you have a friend who could use a couple of quick lighting hacks, hey. Why not share it with a friend? Now, I'm going to show you another trick 
really fast. I've used this before. So when you're out here with light and um, you need something bright in front of you to brighten you up. I don't even know where to sit. Oh my God, horrible light, right? Horrible, horrible light. You use something white underneath you. I have been using this table, but you can also use a towel, a hotel towel, and put it underneath you. You see it will brighten. I'm standing between a planter and a rail. So you see how I'm trying to get you angle. It's just a little bit brighter and prettier on my face than if I take it away. It's just a little bit, not a lot. It's just the way the light is now. I can't help it. But if you're in a situation, and, <coughs> excuse me, and the light is not in your favor, try putting a piece of foam core underneath you. Um, you can get one of those big lighting boards that they have to bounce the light if it's coming on one side and you need it towards you. But if you're, you know, at traveling or whatever, something as simple as a white towel, a white t-shirt, anything really white, a menu, I've used a menu, anything white really underneath you will do the trick to bounce the light up to your face. So that's it. Share it with a friend. Hope you enjoy this and see you at AuthenticSuperstar.com. Bye.